Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to be talking about some excellent gift ideas for the outdoorsy people in your life. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Okay, so I didn't want this list to be too typical or too like every other one or every other YouTuber making a similar list to this for outdoorsy people. And I didn't want to go with just the typical buy them this knife or that knife, you know, or I highly recommend this knife. Rather, I would be talking about some unconventional ideas that I think are actually pretty cool and that I think if you get people will definitely surprise them and be really cool gifts that they're able to use for years into the future. So let's jump right into it. So the first one for me is vintage bows or vintage archery in general. So vintage bows, while they are not as cheap as they used to be, still are really not that expensive and they come in many different flavors, different styles, different weights, different uh, T or different types of bows themselves. I prefer traditional archery myself, and I prefer traditional bows like this recurve. This is a Darton Superflight Ranger, but I prefer something like this. But ultimately, archery is a really great kind of hop is a really great kind of hobby to get into in the first place, especially seeing that ammo is still reasonably scarce and reasonably expensive. So, you know, having something like a bow allows you to get out, shoot, be active, and do something, you know, go to some kind of range, even though it's not quite a gun range. So archery is a really great one on my list. Personally, I like it. And once again, you know, whether it's arrows or a bow, if you get them some vintage bows or vintage arrows, you know, uh, you're pretty much set to go. You know, you go to many different indoor ranges, uh, archery ranges, and shoot year-round. So, vintage bows are my number one uh, pick. And like I said, they're not too expensive. You just want to make sure you can get a bow that the person you're getting it for will be able to pull it back. So knowing which side is their dominant side, and you know, knowing a good weight for the bow. Okay, another one that is more wintry related, and it's not quite wintry yet, but by the time you guys see this video, it probably will be, <laughs> is snowshoes. And once again, vintage snowshoes. These things are not terribly expensive. If you go on places like eBay and find good quality snowshoes that are just a bit older, you know, a few model years back, you'd be surprised how cheap you can get snowshoes. And while snowshoes may not be, you know, a singular part of your kit, if you're looking to get outside walk in the winter you know it for any distance or travel any length you will probably encounter the need for either snowshoes or skis and so either so I really like snowshoes personally and you know when you're doing winter hiking you're going to need a good pair of snowshoes so going on eBay finding places or going on eBay or finding places that have good vintage snowshoes can be a really solid option for a gift. And once again, it's not a complete kit, you know, it's not something that they might use every time or every, at every point in the year, but when you need snowshoes, you really need snowshoes. So that is uh, snowshoes, and they are definitely another solid pick for really good and once again, not terribly expensive uh, pieces of equipment that you can get an outdoorsy person, especially like I said, if they live in a place like Alaska or anywhere else that gets snow. Okay, so we've talked about bigger, so we've talked about bigger gifts. Now let's talk about some smaller, maybe more practically sized stuff. So one of the first things that is still reasonably quite budget to get is wilderness uh, edible ID books, things like these that exist for just about every state, just about every place uh, out there. And there's a wealth of knowledge packed within these books. And the best part about these books, especially smaller ones, is that they don't go out of service. You can carry these things in a pocket or in a pack, and you know you'll have the knowledge if you're going out to practice, you know, wildlife ID or, sorry, wilderness ID of different edibles and medicine, medicines that are in your location. So these are great little ideas, you know, there's not a whole lot to them. They're pretty basic books and I have many different types of them. Some are more comprehensive, some are less comprehensive. It really just depends on the audience you're going for and what they're looking for. So these types of books are awesome and definitely recommend picking them up and giving to people because it helps to know what is in your surroundings and what you can use around you. Different books that help you ID wilderness plants is probably some of the 
best kind of books you can get. Uh, bushcrafting books are also pretty handy too, but wilderness uh, plants and stuff are definitely better. Okay, so we've looked at some knowledge sharing and some kind of educational bits. Let's talk about some gear. Now, this might be what everyone's most excited for, but once again, I'm talking about vintage equipment because this stuff can be had for such a reasonable price in comparison to new equipment and really has a lot of the same potential, if not some more potential. So for this one, this is a... Uh, older Victorinox Ranger, and this one is pretty solid. There's really barely, aside from the use on the scales, you can barely even tell if this thing is really used. It looks like it honestly was just more carried than anything, and obviously not every piece of vintage equipment is the same, but honestly pretty darn solid stuff, and once again, the prices on a lot of vintage gear is pretty reasonable, especially if you go to places like eBay. I mean, I paid around, I think, four 49 bucks for this old school Leatherman PST and it looks like it's in pretty fantastic condition and I mean it really is in pretty fantastic condition aside from a little bit of rust here and there uh, you know you can give your blades a quick clean up and make them honestly pretty solid again so just giving new life to some old very solid tools and some pretty awesome equipment so that is another heavy recommend and not necessarily recommend any one specific piece of equipment and of course some of this stuff is a little bit more worn like this old Victorinox rucksack but even after a quick sharpen it is ready to go and it might be a little rough around the edges and a little bit used but it's still a pretty cool piece of equipment it has a lot of story and a lot of life left still in it so Whatever you pick up for vintage gear, I like going with a lot of older school kind of equipment because new new school equipment is good and there are de definitely technological advancements from something like this Leatherman PST, but it is a pretty awesome tool nonetheless and it is cool to have something that is, you know, older, a part of the history of a cool brand like Leatherman or like Victorinox or many other different companies. So definitely recommend taking a look at vintage gear, especially vintage multi-tools. They seem to be pretty cool because you can get a lot of them for fairly reasonable prices if you go with, you know, lightly used to, you know, used equipment. And uh, like I said, you can get some stuff that's pretty good condition for pretty good prices and has pretty good performance still. So that is the last little bit of recommendations for Christmas gift ideas ideas for outdoorsy people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, God bless and I'm out.